Hey, what's up guys welcome back to another exciting episode of iGeeks vlog this is Puneet Khatri back for another video so basically you guys might be knowing that Apple has recently released iOS 11 and uh, yesterday Apple also released iOS public beta which means that you don't need to be a official developer or a registered developer in order to install iOS 11 also many of people have been trying iOS 11 uh, with the hacks or like other ways of installing iOS 11 and iOS 11 is a really great uh, iOS coming up with the all new customized control centers, P2B money transfers, dark mode and the latest iOS system has received really great response from the experts. So now it's your turn to go ahead and try it out. So if you follow all these steps which I show you in this video properly you will be able to go ahead and install iOS 11 public beta on your iPhone or your iPad. So let me just show you you that my this iPhone is running iOS 10.3.2 I'll just go into general and about and here you can see that it's running iOS 10.3.2 as I told you okay so guys what next you need to do is that uh, go ahead and check is your device compatible so from this link bar down in the description you can check is your device compatible or no all right so there's a list of all the devices which are compatible if you're lucky enough your device is compatible let's go ahead and get started with the second process Alright, so there is a link down in the description which will take you to Apple's website that's Apple Beta Software Program. You need to just scroll down and there is the sign up button. Go ahead and tap on the sign up button up right here. Once you're there over here, you need to enter your Apple ID and password and log in with your Apple ID. Okay, so guys, once you log in with your Apple ID, you will have this agreement up right here. So just scroll down and accept the agreement. Once you hit on accept, you will be taken over and like to the official page up right here. Alright and up right here at the top you have enroll your device so just scroll over here and you have enroll your device. Okay once you tap on enroll your device you will get these options that says Mac OS, iOS and TV OS. So currently this video is all about iOS so I'll just we are already there on iOS so I can just scroll down up right here. The first option is to be considered because this is a uh, beta so there are really bugs and it, it is possible that your device might get like it can have some problem or the data gets lost so it's really great if you can just take a backup with iTunes so you don't have any problems if there is a problem you can just go ahead and restore your device so the second step says download the profile just hit download profile once you hit over there you will get this option because like I have an Apple watch paired to my device that's why I'm getting this option if you don't have an Apple watch paired with your device you won't be getting this option just go ahead and select iPhone up right here you will get this option to install the profile on your device just go ahead and tap on install it will ask for your password enter the password again tap on install again install so once you're done with this process it will say to go ahead and restart your device just go ahead and tap on restart and i'll get you guys back later once the device restarts all right so guys as you can see my device is rebooted and up upright ready now what next you need to do is that tap on settings once you're there in the settings scroll down and tap on general and the second tab up software update just wait for the update to pull over okay so guys as you can see over here i got the option that is for ios 11 public beta from apple this uh, soft beta software is now available and you can just go ahead and install it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not connected to a Wi-Fi. So you, once you're connected to a Wi-Fi network, you will get the download option and install it. This would be an installation of a normal update. How Like how you install a normal update, you can just go ahead and install this one too. Okay, so guys, once you go ahead and install iOS 11 successfully, I'll just go into settings and I'll show you. Uh, I'll just scroll down, tap on general, about, and here you can see the version is iOS 11.0 which means I've successfully installed iOS 11 so now you can just go ahead and enjoy the really great created iOS 11 with all the customizations all the new features up there with iOS 11 also to do make sure to check out our channel in order to if you want to know, go through or if you want to know more about some really great features of iOS 11 and in order to just go ahead and or read this entire article you can just tap on the link in the description which will take to a website to the original article that's about it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video this if you enjoyed feel free to give a thumbs up to this video subscribe to iGeeks blog and if you have some questions feel free to comment down below and i'll get back to you guys later in my next video peace